Gemini, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching this, Gemini, trust there's a message here for you, whether you're a regular viewer or this has just popped up in your feed and you felt the call to click on it. A win win outcome is forecast. I see the scales of justice. I see things coming into balance. I feel something mutually beneficial here. So let's keep going. You know, it feels like there is a, a positive outcome here and uh, maybe you're going to hear back from something. Uh, maybe something comes into balance for you. All right. Oracle of the Angels. Harmony. Yeah. Something's coming into harmony. Something's coming into balance. Something's going to feel happy in the heart here for you. You know, it's maybe something you've been waiting for, working towards or wanting to hear back from. Okay, Gemini, let's get your major arcana. And then we'll go to the full tarot deck. All right, we have got the magician. This is really as a direct um, response to the action that you have taken, okay? The magician, it feels like you're trying to make something happen, maybe trying to transform something, trying to create something. The magician says that you're so capable. Now, if there is an action that you were thinking about taking, well, definitely do it because it's going to lead to a winning outcome for you. You're the alchemist here and it feels like you can maybe influence an outcome in some way. Oh, here's the page of wands. Now, this is an energy of incredible news incoming. So like I said, it feels like maybe you hear back you might get a message or hear back the news that you need to bring things into balance. Is it financial balance, housing balance? Uh, you know, maybe there's a new opportunity here. You're going to feel in harmony, you know, maybe taking a sigh of relief. Here's the King of Swords. Okay, Gemini, this could be you. Now, the King of Swords is also an energy of transformation. And often it's a decision point could be you, it could be a decision made by you, or you might be on the receiving end of a decision that transforms something in your reality and gives you a sense of clarity on the future. Hence why, you know, there's a sense of calm. Everything's going to be okay now, a bit of a sigh of relief. So some kind of decision leading to clarity. And here's the two of wands. Yeah, I mean, the two of wands usually for me is expansion, a future plan finally being able to be executed because there's a win-win outcome. Sometimes the two of wands is like, well, you know, I just need that new possibility. I just need that new opportunity. I just need that opportunity so that I can get out of a situation that's a little bit constricting. Is that a new job? Is that finance? It kind of feels like it's in one of those kind of areas. Keep taking action. If you haven't taken action yet, make sure you do that. Because I just feel with the Page of Wands, there is good news coming your way. There is harmony, there is balance. And maybe once whatever this is lands, it enables you to make other future plans, right? Because you have some new level of certainty. Here's the King of Wands. And that is a, a Leo energy and two kings coming through, which is obviously a, a sense of you know maturity, uh, in this situation, you know, finally knowing where you stand. The King of Wands is a Leo energy and it's about having the strength and courage to keep following this pursuit of the heart. It's a strong leadership energy. So like I said, you might get a leadership position or you might um, have something happen here that allows you to take further leadership in your life, right? you know, maybe a, a pay rise or finance, finally we can work towards getting that house or there feels like a, a domino effect of positive outcomes here. And it all starts with that magician energy taking that action. So, and you know, both the two of wands and the king of wands are visionary energy is like, you know, it's happening. It's not just a dream anymore. We can move this to um, practicality, practical outcomes, and here's the Ten of Cups. Yeah, I mean, that's sort of what I'm feeling. Like, for yourself, your future, your family, your stability, your security, your happiness, this outcome is a milestone towards your Ten of Cups, living that best blessed life. And, you know, there might still be some stages to go, but it feels like this is the gateway to that. So we always have to keep taking action towards it, 
you know, we have to keep working with the potential, working with the energy. But a win-win outcome is forecast. So here's the High Priestess. If you're having an intuition or a hunch here as to what to do, then definitely do that. Um, the High Priestess says all is about to be revealed. I just feel like there's a big expansion energy here that you're moving through the gateway of a lot of potential. So the, the High Priestess, something will be revealed through this information that leads to a win-win outcome and a lot of harmony for you. Queen of Pentacles for me is usually around house, home, business, career, money and finding a new level of stability and security within it. And the funny thing is like being the Capricorn energy, uh, which of course is the devil in the major arcana, I often say the Queen of Pentacles has danced with the devil, refocused her energy and because of that, she is receiving growth and results. So this win-win outcome might help you recover from a debt situation or from a situation that you felt is not leading you to your Ten of Cups. And then all of a sudden, because of your practical action, you know, through the Magician energy, you're on track to the Ten of Cups. So this is a gorgeous energy of the, it's showing up in the real world, the physical tangible results no longer just conceptual no longer just a fantasy that vision can become a reality so i'm going to leave you with that uh, short and sweet message here uh, gemini i hope you enjoyed the reading if you'd like to explore this energy further with a personal reading the first link down below will pop you over to my website and you can check those out I have a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide linked below if you'd like to get started reading the cards. You'll also find my TikTok and Instagram accounts linked as well. I'm really active and interactive over there with daily readings. And my more immersive online course, The Initiation, where I teach a full foundation in tarot. And my signature reading process is also linked for you to explore. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending love and magic. Bye for now.